Have you ever wondered what a four-wheel drive is used for? Well, today, we're gonna find out. Here in Fresno County, the Sierra is absolutely amazing. There are spots that you can only get to if you're on horseback or if you're in one of these rigs. Today, we're gonna have some fun exploring Eastern Fresno County and seeing some of the trails and areas that are only available to us in one of these vehicles. In your rig, clearing trails, having a good time, or is this more uh, once a month? How often are you up in the mountains? Uh, usually um, once a month during the season. It's all about rediscovering Fresno County. I love this place. Well, I like to brag about it. I like showing people who live here in Fresno County what this county has to offer. Uh, a lot of folks are aware of all the trees dying off up here in the mountains, but they don't know that there are groups like yours that are working hard to maintain the forest and make it accessible to the public. You care for our community, and I think that's a message that the public needs to hear because the work that all of you do as volunteers to maintain our forests, to me, it's all about stewardship. Like, and I really appreciate the partnership that the U.S. Forest Service has with the four-wheel drive community, and we're gonna get that message out today. Well, this thing's gonna be awesome. You take a look at some of these rocks, this thing's gonna go straight up and down. So, looking forward to riding, not only in this rig, but we've got about 12 other rigs. So you being a farmer, one thing I noticed right off the bat is this club is open to everybody from all walks of life. You've got folks that are educators, you've got farmers, you have attorneys, and what's great about this sport, this uh, profession that all you guys love, is you don't have to have a $50,000 vehicle to come out and enjoy what's in your own backyard. We're just uh, maybe a mile or so from the trailhead. And obviously this identifies areas uh, that different four-wheelers can go because clearly when you come out with your rig you don't want to be tearing stuff up. You want to come out have a good time but there's places that your rigs can be and places that you're not supposed to go with your rig. So talk to us a little bit about um, uh, what this more difficult, uh, what's that all about? Easiest and more difficult. What this does is this tells the OHV user exactly kind of where they're at and what is expected. If you're on a side-by-side -side, the law requires that you have helmets, so it says no helmet, no ride. Plus, we've got this rock where it looks like we've got about probably a 60 degree angle. This rig in front of us just drove right up it, didn't slip at all, popped right up, crawled it. Unbelievable. All right, so uh, we're getting close to the top of Bald Mountain, and I gotta tell you, when you stand, um, up on the top of Bald Mountain and do a 360 degree turn and just view the beauty that the forest has to offer. It's like nothing else. So I would encourage you, if you have a four-wheel drive and you've been thinking about getting involved with the sport, contact a local four-wheel drive club. They make trips like this on a pretty regular basis throughout the summer, fall, and spring. It's a great time for the family, uh, something safe to do, and you can burn up a whole day just enjoying the beauty of Fresno County. So we started at the base of B-Rock and uh, this rig is set up such that I was not nervous at all. You could tell that uh, the vehicle tracked at a, a couple of different points before it got to the top trying to find the area where it could have appropriate grip. But just the way this is set up, um, it uh, had phenomenal traction. It's geared so low. I've got one question. Are you ready to rediscover Fresno County? Bald Mountain, we're about ready to have some lunch. And you would think that you wouldn't be that hungry because you're sitting in a vehicle, but just watching the driver and what they have to do to follow the right trails, you work up an appetite as a passenger, and I no doubt know that Mike is starving too, so. We brought up a Yeti, I made two sandwiches, I got snacks galore. We're gonna enjoy the views, the sights. So uh, we're gonna spend a little bit of time looking at some of the work that uh, the 4x4 Club uh, has done on some of the trails. Then we're gonna operate some chainsaws. So the most fun is yet to come. How important is it for volunteers to be involved with organizations like yours to help maintain these trails? absolutely important. Uh, we uh, wouldn't be able to do anything without the volunteers. It's all uh, unpaid. We, we placed all these in here and um, 
boulders all the way across. And there's boulders all the way across, and then all down in here, it's all lined and uh, like a puzzle. We have left Bald Mountain, and uh, we are now about ready to cross Rock Creek here. Rock Creek feeds into Dinky Creek, so we're going to cross this little little river area here and continue on our adventures. But uh, as you can tell, everything around us is beautiful. These rigs are set up in such a way that they can handle just about any terrain. But we're staying on the trails, having a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood has wardrobe malfunctions. Out here on the trail, we have frame malfunctions. I honestly have to say, I have never seen a frame crack on both sides, but today I have seen something new. We have a frame on a rig that is cracked on both sides. How many days do you spend out here with your chainsaws keeping these trails clear? I mean, is this something that you have to do uh, once or twice a month, or is this something that you're having to do constantly once these trails are open? Uh, typically about every two, three years. This one hasn't been done in probably uh, four or five years. So it's just a good idea to come through here and take care of some of the branches that are intruding into the trail and take care of some stuff like this. This is a dead branch coming in. It was trimmed off or probably trimmed off um, not far enough back. So we'll go ahead and whack that off a little closer out of the trail. And um, it just, uh, we try to target trails uh, that we haven't seen and done in a while. Not everyone can be lucky enough to get into one of these rigs and have an opportunity to drive it. But even if you have something that's stock, I would encourage you to come on out, enjoy the forests, join a club like the California Four Wheel Association, and just have a good time.